We're talking Jared Goff, and is he a top 10 quarterback? Because one of the legacy media outlets, one of the writers, show some massive love to Jared Goff, and I think for sure he deserves the love. There's absolutely no doubt about it. I like seeing it because the absolute disrespect this guy get is ridiculous. And ever since he got traded to the Detroit Lions, it's just been pile on Goff. I mean, they've made this guy look terrible. So we're going to read what this article said, talk about it, and give you my thoughts on Jared Goff and you know what's going forward. But before we get into today's video, if you're not a subscriber to Lions Nation Unite, why the hell not? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Why? Because obviously you like Detroit Lions, and that's what this is all about. Without further ado, let's get this thing going. One of the most controversial players on the Detroit Lions is Jared Goff. I don't know how. I don't know why he's so controversial because he is hes kind of laid back and doesn't really make any statements. He's not a Karen. He doesn't uh, go out there and, and drop some bombs. He's just kind of a relaxed guy, but he is the most controversial player for the Detroit Lions. And we're going to talk about is he a top 10 quarterback because, look, last year when you look at Jared Goff, when he got traded to the Detroit Lions, at least in this particular one, he was ranked 23. I still think that's, that's a little low even for last year. Before that, many out, multiple outlets. We're talking pretty much everybody thought this guy was a window licker. He was terrible. He eats crayons. He doesn't even know how to breathe. He doesn't. He can't count to 10. I mean, the the destruction of this man's intellect and character and, and, and ability to quarterback was destroyed. I mean, it was absolutely terrible to watch what the mainstream did to this guy. He went from the gloriness to absolute hell when the, when the trade happened, according to the big media, according to everybody, this guy is the worst quarterback to ever exist. I mean, the absolute disrespect was ridiculous and I told people there's no way he's this bad he's not that bad what everybody's saying he is and now you're starting to see a little bit of a narrative change even though it's still disrespectful the guy threw for many yards did a pretty good season but that's okay because we finally got some respect here from NFL Dot com showing some love to our Detroit Lions. The writer is Mark Sessler, and he gave Jared Goff a 15-spot leap from 23rd, like we've seen there, all the way. He jumped all the way to the top 10, and that's damn good. He got some respect on his name, and this is what he said. He said, Goff was a candidate for a sturdy campaign behind a rough and tumble line that planned to pound people on the ground. Sessler wrote, still nobody expected him to torch defenses for 29 touchdowns against his seven interceptions. That was his stats. But let, let, let's look at his stats all around compared to the rest of the National Football League, compared to everybody else. Now, like I said, in 2022, he had 65.1 completion percentage, 4,438 yards, 29 touchdowns, 7 receptions of a rating of 99.3. That 4,438 yards is sixth in the NFL for quarterbacks. So, top six there. Touchdowns was tied for fifth. So, fifth amount of touchdowns in the NFL Seven interceptions was tied eighth in the NFL and QBR of fifth. And if you look what he had going on for rest of the ratings here, the, the ratings there is not correct for the career. It's actually 92.8. It duplicated right there. So it's 92.8 instead of 99.3. So it's lower. Other than that, the touchdowns, 155 to 70. Almost the same completion percentage and a bunch of yards as well. That's what he had going on for his career. Now, like I said, 
Is he a top 10 quarterback? Is Mark correct to jump him to the eighth spot, a top 10 quarterback? Well, if you look at the stats, absolutely. And you do got to look at the stats. I understand there's absolutely an eye test. There's stats. There's many different things that you got to look at. But you cannot deny what he did this season. And after TJ Hawkinson was traded, the, the most important stat on here is the interceptions. It was completely down. It was. You got to get the props to him. So I appreciate what Sessler did here, giving him the eighth. Eighth? I don't mind that. Even though, look, he, he is a top five in some, six. Is he the most prolific quarterback in the NFL? Absolutely not. He's not Josh Allen. He's not, a, he's not have the running ability of Lamar Jackson. He's definitely not Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, he's not. But he's a, he's a good quarterback. And he's he shown it. Is it all him? Absolutely not. He had a hell of an offensive line. Great offensive coordinator in Ben Johnson. But he's the one throwing the football. Well, people say, well, he's not, he doesn't have, you know, he's throwing the football in the tight windows. Good. I don't need him to be Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford throws a lot of picks. Yes, he has a cannon of an arm. He has an elite arm. He does. But if he's not good at something, why force him to do it? I don't mind him doing what he's doing. He doesn't need to put it in a tight window, in a double coverage. He doesn't need to do all that. I'd rather him throw it away than a potential pick. We've seen this year for the Detroit Lions, if you win the turnover battle, you win the game. If you look at the whole season here, that was the recipe for success or failure. It was. And when Jared Goff started throwing no, inter- no interceptions, we are starting to win every game. Ten, eight out of ten games, we won. So, no, I don't need him to be some prolific, strong-arm quarterback. I don't need him to be the greatest quarterback in the NFL. He's not that. But he's all right. And according to the stats, he is a top 10. Now, you definitely got to say, is his mobility low? 100%. He's not. He's not. I mean, he, he does the, the Jared Goff spin. He laughs at himself about it. Seeing the interview is hilarious. Everybody has a weakness. And if you know your weakness, you try to avoid doing that. That's perfectly fine. Every quarterback, every player has a weakness. You don't force them to do something that they're not good at. That's absolutely stupid because then you're failing. That's what coaches do is you put your players in positions to succeed. So there's things that he's not good at, and you just kind of avoid those things. You kind of not do those things. You scheme around it. You put the players, the the, the plays he, he likes, you put them in there 100%. Eye test. You know, there's a couple games here when he threw that to DJ Chark for the first down against the Green Bay Packers game. That was, what, a five-yard completion? But that was my favorite pass of the year. It was to win the game at Lambeau Field where everybody said you couldn't do it, and he did it. To me, that was an eye test passer. Winning the games you don't expect to win. Winning when the pressure is on you. So, for him to be a top 10, I have to agree, he is a top 10 quarterback. 100%. He's a top 10 quarterback. Will he be this year? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. You know, I'm not Nostradamus. Can't can't read the future, but right now he is. When When he got traded to the Detroit Lions, they made him out to be something he was not. They made him out to be the the worst quarterback in the NFL. And I was telling people there's, he's not that. He's a mid-quarterback. Now, I think you know, when you look at all his stats, he was around 20-ish. He's a, he's a mid-quarterback. I still give him around at mid at, at that time. He had no no weapons or anything like that, but he's not the worst quarterback. I think what shocks people the most and why this is controversial is a lot of people, they missed Matthew Stafford when he got traded. They got Jared Goff, and the media really destroyed this man's character, Jared Goff's character. Made him out to be something he's not. And maybe people bought the hype a little bit that he was absolutely butt cheeks. And that was just not the case. He's not as bad as everybody was saying he is. 
just wasn't. So if you buy that narrative, you you may push back, well, he can't be a top 10 because he's the worst. But he's not the worst quarterback. And he wasn't the worst. It's just, as we know, especially throughout, you know, you talk to fans that have been Lions fans for a long time. The media hates the Lions, except for this last year. This last year is something different. You're starting to see a change. But before that, like you go to Detroit, it's it's the it's the butthole team of the NFL. Like it's the dumpster of the NFL. Like they always trash on the Detroit Lions. So no matter what, everything is bad. So when he got traded here, well, he got traded here because he's just awful, just like the Lions. And that was not the case at all. I think if you is was he the best quarterback? <laughs> no. I mean he got traded away for Matthew Stafford, but he's not the worst. My God. I mean, and you're seeing some outlets still out there putting him below below second-string quarterbacks, and it's just utterly ridiculous. But, yeah, I think he played, he's a top-10 quarterback. He played as a top-10 quarterback, and, yeah, it's not, it's not all his success, but it doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be. You got to have players around you to make you look good too. I mean, it's not just all one thing. You know, Patrick Mahomes is great, but he's got weapons too. If he had no weapons like Justin Fields did in Chicago, he probably he'd not as look as good as, as what he did this year. So it's not just the position. Is he the, is he the most dynamic guy on the field? No, but we don't need that right now. And I I, I appreciate him getting love. In the NFL, and he should get some love after what he did. And he should continue to get it if this goes on next year. If he's still doing this, not throwing interceptions, winning games, you should get love. <laughs> Everybody should be if you're doing that. So 100%. But we got videos dropping on here every single day, folks. Feel much better over the COVID stuff. So get ready for a video every single day. Make sure you hit that notification bell with that said adios. Perfect.